Okay. So, as you clearly heard right there, that Halo just interrupted probably what my intro is gonna be. Yeah, looks like Sun and Moon got it on the mark saying that, hey, if Gen 3 can do Imitation Christ, why not us? Hello there, everybody, and welcome back to more Pokemon Emerald. So, last time, we made it through route, the southern part of Route 104. We made it through Petaburg Woods, and we met this mysterious guy from this gang called Team Aqua. Hmm. Looks like we're gonna have to be on the lookout for him sometime in the future. So, today, uh, we're going to continue on our way to Rustboro City. So, uh, right here, you got more berries, obviously. You got cherry berries. This is our first time picking these. Uh, these will cure paralysis. We haven't actually run into paralysis yet as a status, but we will eventually, so... Bear that in mind. Hopefully, you won't run into it, like, soonish, but whatever. So, anyway, this is the Pretty Petal... Powder flower shop spreading flowers all over the world. That's a nice name. Would you like to learn about berries? No, I already explained enough. And yet, in response to our answer, no, she just advocates for the word of the flower gods. The more attention you give to flowers, the, mu the more beautifully they bloom. You'll like tending flowers, I'm sure of it. You can have this. And we got ourselves a way more, whale more pale. When berry plants are growing, water them with the whale more pale. Oh, another thing. If you don't pick berries for a while, they'll drop off onto the ground. But they'll sprout again. Isn't that awesome? It's like they have the will to live. They got determination, after all. I'm trying to be like my big sister, so I'm growing flowers too. And for our troubles, she gets us a Persian berry. That can actually cure confusion. Again, we haven't run into confusion as a status yet. <laughs> I want some candy too. <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. But, uh, we haven't run into confusion as a status yet, but when we do that, we will. Anyway, though, uh, here's how to plant berries right here, since, you know, now we've given the, uh, pail to water with. So, plant it near some soil. And, you know, just select it again to, you know, water it. And all you have to do is just play the waiting game. Unfortunately, this is like an emulator, so clock-based events won't work. So, unfortunately, it's not looking like... I can, like, do the berry farming game that I've wanted to do, but hey. At least we'll be able to do something about it, at least. Talk to this guy right here. He loves filling his mouth with seeds and then spitting them out. And apparently that transitions into a move. Yeah. So he gives us a technical machine. This is a CD that you insert into Pokemon. Yeah, I don't know how TMs work either, but... This one contains Bullet Seed. This is a Grass-type move that has 10 power, 100 accuracy, and has 30 PP. It's basically a Grass-type version of uh, Fury Swipes, or any attack that can attack two to three times. And none of our Pokémon can learn it. Yeah. So if you have a Trico, this could actually be a pretty decent move for, you know, anything, really. So, yeah. Tootsie, stop the snoring! Jesus! Go over there and snore, God! Okay. So, I want to fight this guy, too. God. I swear to God, Tootsie's... Tootsie's like a... I don't know, I like... If you remember, like, way back when, when I was doing, like, Skyward Sword, I mentioned before, like, uh... There was this one house in the game, in Skyloft that, uh... That at nighttime, if you visit it, you'll find, like, some dude and his wife, like, snoring, like... <laughs> I'm one of those people who can't even stand snoring, or even stand someone who calls it, like... I, w I shouldn't talk because I snore, like, really loud, like, too, but... <sighs> I don't know, I just can't stand it. And, for whatever reason, I can stand Tootsie snoring. I don't know why, but I do. Maybe it's just because she doesn't sound like a raging ma maniac every time, I guess. I... Dude. Dude. <laughs> well. Fiddlesticks. Okay. Fine. Fine. Water gun. You're dead. By the way, I wanted to show, too, that uh, if you battle this guy, just be careful because he does have a full restore like Lady Sydney does. And his name is Winston. I would make a joke here, but it would be bad. Bad joke about name. From a parent... Uh, are you coming on to me? Because I wouldn't... 
I, I, I'd be fine with lesbian and Pokemon. Oh, never mind. Okay, so I healed up my Pokemon at the Pokemon Center, and Free Item and Item Slave have items. Super Potion! Alright, come on, come on. Great Ball! Hey! <laughs> See, oh god, <laughs> I just sped up! I, I, I've been exposed! Oh god! <laughs> oh god. <sighs> Hopefully that won't notice. <sighs> oh god. I was so excited about that Super Potion and Great Ball that it just, it just got away from me. Holy shit. Okay. So, Super Potion restores HP of Pokemon by 50. So, yeah. Immediately a very great item. And also, I got another Great Ball. So, that's cool. So, that's pretty cool. By the way, uh, these two trainers. These two trainers. Uh, let's see. What do I want? No, I don't want to go back. Uh, I want to put Skip out there and... This actually brings me to something here. Um, you remember a while back when uh, one of my when free item oh wait when uh free item got me that ultra ball? Well, that was a four percent chance of happening, and by gaining levels, I'll start to get better and better items with pickup. Yeah, Pokemon Emerald was the one that introduced the pickup charts that uh I said that I showed briefly earlier on with the ultra ball being like a two percent chance. So, or a 4% chance, so, yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyway, these twins, Mina, or Mina, Gina and Mia, they are the first trainers that you're ever going to have double battles with. So here's how double battles work. It was introduced in Gen 3, and you can press start to reveal the uh, HP and stuff. So here's how double battles work. They were introduced in Gen 3 as a new battle method. And apparently it's still being used in, you know, Pokemon tournaments today. So, double battles are battles in which, you know, you send out two of your own Pokemon to battle others who have two Pokemon on their team. Quite obviously. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. You d there, there's moves that can affect, you know, both opponents. Ones that can affect your own, and among other such things that are too technical right now. So, yeah. Oh god. Yeah, I better be quick because this guy, this guy's got bide, and bide is not very good. You basically store up energy for two turns and then you unleash it, all back at the opponent. So, yeah, gonna have to keep on growl right here. Uh, the the nice part about double battles is that uh. They actually keep uh, your choice as it, as it was, so, yeah. Alright, who's the guy? Oh. Just on free item. Okay. That's fair. Oh, and by the way, you do select which uh, target you want, so, yeah. That's another thing that you'll probably want to watch out for. You can actually make a grave mistake, like I did so many years back, and hit your own teammate with it as well. So... Yeah, I don't know that was Gen 4 that did that. I'm not really too sure on that. I don't know. We battled together, and but we both lost. Ah, uh, Sad. Sad, but true. But either way, that was kind of a waste of time, actually, because I was freaking... I was flipping, flipping out about flipping things. Why keep it a secret? I'm a water-type expert! Huh? You don't know me? No, I don't, Mr. Man. Uh, of course I don't know you. Why would I know such a man of high pleasure? I mean, all you have is magic cups, and magic cups anyway, so I'm just gonna have to skip you anyway. That's what you get. You're a water-type expert that uses magic cups. Once again, there's always that one dude in every Pokemon game. Yes, even in something like Pokemon Black and White's post-game is that one dude. So sad, but true. Or was it black and white too? I'm not really too sure about that, but I'm not really too sure about that. Oh God. Blame Undertale for making me love puns. If you use, if you see berries growing in loamy soil, feel free to take them. But make sure you plant a berry in the same spot. It's common courtesy. Common courtesy in this day and age? <sighs> nah. But either way, uh, we got a Chistel Berry. So yeah, Chistel Berry, it can cure Pokemon from sleep. 
And, uh, once again, we haven't even run to sleep status yet, uh, so we're gonna have to run to that later on, but... Either way, here we are at Rustboro City! Okay, so Rustboro City is our very first, uh, city of sorts. So, different corporation workers live in this building. Ooh. Corporation! My favorite type of corporation. Uh-huh. And I really wish you could run inside buildings. Uh, <laughs> everything's gonna be so slow. And, ooh! I didn't actually know that. Okay, so we got a Premier Ball from this kid. So, basically, Premier Balls are basically Pokeballs. They're not really too special, but they look really... But they look cool. See? They look cool. <laughs> That's what you get when you buy 10 Pokeballs from a Pokemart, so... Back in the old days, Devin was just a teeny tiny cup... Oh, God. That's gonna put such a strain on my throat. It's like... <laughs> it's like, why would I do that? Why would I torture myself with that very voice? Uh, oh god. See? Okay. He likes to collect rare stones. Okay... I think the president's son also collects rare stones. Yes, stones! Just like the Stone of Boone. I don't know. And no, I didn't use hacks. I just cut my way out to the building because I did it. So, sometimes change in the way it looks, okay. Pokemon team to save. If one did that, I would be shocked. You have no idea, buddy. You've come, like, a few years late to the party with that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, this is the Pokemon Trainer School. So, with this, uh, piano music. Hello. Have we met- didn't we meet before? I think back in Petalburg City. Let me introduce myself. My name's Scott. I've been traveling everywhere in search of outstanding trainers. More specifically, I'm looking for Pokemon battle experts. So, what brings you to this school? Are you a trainer too? The first thing you should do is to have a Pokemon learn the move Cut. If I remember correctly, someone in this town has Cut. Okay, thanks genius, I'll keep a looking out for him. So anyway, Pokemon can hold items, but they don't know whether it's man-made but they don't know what to do with man-made items like potions or antidote, yeah. So basically the trainer school exists to uh, teach you basically more mechanics about Pokemon. Like this girl's explaining what confusion basically is. And uh, right here, uh, these two po these two guys are trading. I'm trading Pokemon with my friend right now. They're playing Game Boys, I knew it! A Pokemon holding a berry will heal itself. There are many kinds of items that it can hold. Boy, it sure is hard taking notes down. Yes, it is. Especially if you're a battle guy like myself. Hey, I'm talking to you! I want to talk to you, dude! Students who don't study get a little taste of my quick claw. Ew. L whether or not you are a good student will be evident by the way you- Elevent. Okay, elevent by the way you use this item. Okay, quick claw. So... The Quick Claw is actually a very, very good item to have this early on. Because not all of your Pokemon are going to be fast. So if you give this item to any one of your Pokemon that are incredibly slow, they have a chance of going first in battle. So... Uh, let's see... Actually, um... I know Taylor is really fast, so I'm going to have to assume that's going to get the speed. Well, Poochie's got the got the lowest speed out of anyone, so I'm gonna make it hold the Quick Claw. So yeah, Free Adam's got another item. Let's see, Antidote. All right, cool. So yeah, very well was your time to come here, just so you can get your Quick Claw. And right here on this blackboard, you can find the PSN, uh, the PlayStation Network. It infiltrated Nintendo long before it existed. You can find Burton. Frizz, par, and slip, and exit. <laughs> so yeah, these are basically all the status conditions that Pokemon can have. Like poison, can uh, poison will poison your Pokemon. It'll take it'll take its time. Well, every turn your Pokemon will take damage, and while in the overworld, um, your Pokemon will steadily drop HP. Burn can. Uh, Steadily reduce the victim's HP every turn, and also lower your physical attack. Frozen basically means you'll be unable to move for a while. 
and it will remain frozen. You can heal it with an ice heal. Paralyze. When Pokemon are paralyzed, their speed gets cut in half, and it may not be able to attack on its turn. And you can carry it with Paralyze Seal. And basically, Sleep is the same thing as Frozen. Yeah. Not really the same thing as Frozen, but... Frozen is a bit better for, you know, catching Pokemon, but... Yeah. Those are basically all the status conditions that a Pokemon can have. So, Trainer School is excellent. You could become a Gym Leader, too. Roxanne, the Gym Leader, really knows a lot about Pokemon. She's really strong, too! Which is to say that he's, that's why she's the first gym leader, and probably is only like, I don't know, level 10 or something, I don't know. But right here. This house is where you want to go. Scott mentioned that there is someone here who knows Cut, so... Yeah, that determined expression, the limber way you move, and your well-trained Pokémon. Obviously, you're a skilled trainer! No, wait, don't say a word. I can tell just by looking at you. I'm sure you can put this hidden machine to good use. No need to be monitored, Sai. Go on, take it! And we got the HM01. This is a hidden machine. Unlike with TMs, you can actually use hidden machines um, more than once. They are unlimited use. And TMs are only single use. And uh, unfortunately, we do not have the ability to use cut outside of battle. Yeah, HMs basically work in a sense that they can also be used in the overworld as... Me as your means to get further and further on into the world. However, you need the specific badge in order to use it for some reason. I don't see Ash's Greninja, like, not being able to use Cut outside of battle just because, well, you know, Ash didn't have the proper badge. Seriously. <laughs> Why does he even have Cut on his Greninja anyway? I mean, like, come on. <laughs> That's not fair. Jeez. <laughs> okay. So, Rustboro's Pokemart, uh, you know, basically same items as before, you know, all that good stuff that you can probably use. And no, I do not want to, uh, use that. No. I do not want to buy anything. However, what I do want to do is finally fill out this, uh, questionnaire. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to look upon the internet for this information because apparently I forgot all about it. So, if you don't mind, I'm going to do that really quick. Just to see what it is. No, I don't want to go on Amazon, thank you, to pre-order Pokemon Sun because I already did that. Okay, so what you need to fill out on the questionnaire is... Well, here, you'll be able to find a lot of things like these throughout the game. But, just to save you some time, you want to press select and go into alphabetical order right here. So, you want to... You want to go with Link... Where is it? That thing is going to be really, really slow. Together. Wait, hello. Oh, God. This is going to take forever, isn't it? I've forgotten how slow. Okay. I've forgotten how slow this could be. And I don't exactly know if that or that is going to be. Uh, if this is like this first, this second, this third, this fourth. I don't know, but I guess we'll have to see. Link together with all. That's what you want to do. Oh, hello. You know those words? That means you must know about Mystery Gift. From now on, you should be able to receive Mystery Gifts. Once you save your game, you can access the Mystery Gift. Yes, so why don't we just do that? Um, unfortunately, there is another save file on my thing. Like, I even give a sh about that. So... Yeah, once you save your game, you can act you can go ahead and access the mystery gift. So I'm gonna do that really quick. Okay, so the mystery gift option right here. The mystery gift is not available to me. It's basically a way of receiving event items or event Pokemon or whatever. It's been a thing since uh generation two, I believe. And it's been made available from the get-go ever since Pokemon X and Y made it clear that you can get yourself a Torchic that has a Mega Stone, so... Yeah. That's basically what Mystery Gift is. It's basically your means of getting, you know, mystery items and whatnot. Um, one last thing. Is, uh, in this house right here. Uh, this guy will trade you... His C-Dot. For a Ralts. No. 
No. <laughs> Why would you want that trade? That trade is cool and all. And, you know, C Dot can be a pretty cool Pokemon when it fully evolves into Shiftry. But you can find a C Dot in the wild. It's very common on Route 103. <laughs> or Route 102, whatever. Just why? <laughs> why would you want to trade that away? <laughs> What's weirder is that in Ruby and Sapphire, that trade was actually completely different. I'll show that on screen right now what it is, but jeez. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? Man. Be the way, uh... Rustboro Pokemon Gym. The Rock Honor... What? The... the Rustboro City Pokemon Gym Leader Roxanne. The Rock loving honor student okay so i guess we'll never know about that whole trade thing in ruby and sapphire am i right i guess i am right anyway we are done here we made it to rustboro city and that was about it so next time on let's play pokemon emerald we're going to take on our first gym as our dad visibly instructed to us and i'm just gonna tell you if you hadn't evolved your Torchic, you might as well do it right now. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.